In this video, we will discuss the different options for assigning images inside of Flow. There are three different workflow options for assigning images inside of Flow. These workflows are a tethered workflow, meaning your camera is attached to your laptop on site and your images are automatically assigning to the records, an untethered workflow, meaning you only have a camera on site and you are keeping your cards in shot order. You will manually assign images back at the studio. And finally, a metadata workflow, meaning you have a barcode scanner connected directly to your camera or an Opticon scanner, and your ticket codes are being written into each image's metadata. When importing these images into Flow, they will automatically be assigned to the proper record. When doing a tethered workflow, you will first need to set up your hot folder. Your hot folder will be a designated folder on your computer that will be the communication point between your camera and Flow. Any JPEG image saved into this folder will be directly read from Flow and saved to the subject's record. You can designate this hot folder by clicking on the preferences in the top right hand corner of your screen and then clicking on Capture. Here, under Hot Folder Location, you would just click Browse and browse out for your hot folder. Also on the screen is the ability to specify your auto-assigned a hot folder to current subject preferences. By default, this will be set to project specific. If you know that all of your jobs will be tethered sessions, change this option to always. Once finished, press the Save button. While at your session, you would want to scan your subject's barcode to search for their record. Once their record pops up, you can then start taking their images. You will notice the images automatically being assigned to their proper record. If you accidentally assign an image to the incorrect record, simply hover over this image and press the minus key. This will send the image back to the hot folder. You can then set search for the correct record and assign the image to it by hovering over it and pressing the green plus sign. Continue this process until all of your subjects are photographed. When doing an untethered workflow, you will first need to set up your hot folder. Your hot folder will be a designated folder on your computer where you will save your JPEGs from your photography session in order for Flow to read and make available for you to use in the program. You can designate this hot folder by clicking on Preferences in the top right hand corner of Flow and then clicking on Capture. Press the Browse button to browse out for a hot folder. Once finished, press the Save button. While at your photography session, be sure to keep your camera cards in shot order. It is recommended that you either number these cards as they are handed to you, in case you would drop these cards and need to reassemble them, or write the JPEG numbers of the images you just took on these cards to refer back to later. Back at the studio, save your JPEGs from your camera's memory card to your hot folder. You will see your images populate on the left-hand side of your Flow Capture screen. Search for the person on the first camera card by either scanning their barcode or typing in their name in the search field. You can then assign this image to their record by hovering over the image and pressing the green plus sign. This will remove that image from the hot folder and save it to their record. Continue doing this for your next subject. And so forth. If you accidentally assign the wrong image to a record, simply hover over the image and press the minus sign to save it back into the hot folder and search for the subject to reassign. Continue this process until all of your images are saved. 
Flow has the capability that you can assign images with specific metadata assigned to them automatically. To do this, you must have a specific camera that allows you to hook up a barcode scanner directly to the camera or an Opticon scanner. Prior to your job, be certain that the camera and barcode scanner are correctly set up to record metadata to your image's user comment field. Be sure to see your camera's documentation to accurately set this up. In order for Flow to recognize the metadata inside of your images, you must first do a one-time setup inside of Flow. Go to your Preferences in the top right-hand corner of your screen and hit Capture. Up at the top, select the Image Metadata option. We're going to check the Enable Image Importer in Capture and browse out for an image that contains that metadata information. We're then going to want to select a metadata field. This field is typically the User Comment field. Press the down arrow key and find the field that has your ticket code selected in there. Typically, it's user comment. Under Select a Flow field, choose Ticket Code and press Save. This setup will include an Import Images button at the top of your hot folder. While at your photography session, be sure to scan your subject's barcode before taking their image. After your photography session, matching images and data using the metadata workflow is as easy as opening the appropriate project inside of Flow and selecting the Import Images button located at the top of your hot folder area. Browse out for your folder of images containing the metadata and hit OK and you will see the images automatically being assigned to their appropriate records. If there are any images in here that do not have a record or cannot be assigned, they will be saved in your hot folder so that you can manually assign them later.